Today we're going over the 10 ugliest sneakers that came out in 2023. And you know I could not shoot this video without having my boy legit T. You guys on already the know, man. We got some absolute heat today to show you guys. <laughs> Let me show y'all what I'm wearing. They're not ready. They're not ready. Bruh, you know this is not really you're the ready. king of the ugliest shoes, so I had to have you on. What are you talking? I thought we were shooting the best shoes. At, what? Oh no, it's the ugliest shoes. What you rocking today? Guys, y'all didn't tell me. These are the best shoes of 2023. What do you mean? Okay, how much were those when they first came out? Retail, I think, was like 500. I paid almost a thousand dollars for these. Oh, they were going for about a thousand when they first came out. Yeah. And now, what are they going for yeah. now? I don't want to talk about that. <laughs> I don't want to talk about it, bro. Proves my point. These are terrible. <sighs> it literally dropped. But listen, I didn't buy these to be a sneakerhead. Okay, I bought these to be anti you. <laughs> oh, all right, all right. Come on, come on. Let's throw the package. All right, big red boots packaging. As you can see, came in the iconic mischief box right here it kind of looks like paper mache with the red boot on the front then the way you open it is kind of like an old school jordan 11. you know what i mean you just kind of like <laughs> wiggle the box a little bit wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. we got some custom mischief paper right here bam you smell do you can you smell that bro straight rubber oh like a that like is a tire tart. shop they fill the shoes with these okay and they have their own little cutout spaces with Velvet. Really? What we should be doing is recording him trying to take the shoes off. It's not that hard, honestly. Let it's me see. It's kind of like, if you have like a really, okay, maybe it is a little bit hard. <laughs> yeah, yeah, have, let's see that part. Okay, okay. If you have a really chubby leg, then it's hard, but they just slip out. Okay, that's smooth. Right here, mischief on the bottom, boom. The one thing that I do not like about this sneaker, we talked about this earlier, mm -hmm. when I'm walking on it, it's banging against my leg. So okay. I have had bruises the first time I wore it <laughs> afterwards. And it's pretty heavy too as well, so. Okay. Pretty hefty. Like a basketball. Let's take it to the next shoe. All right, next up right here. You know what this box is? I don't. It just looks like a brown box to me. Okay. CPFM. Okay. Nike Flea 1. Add Sunshine, it says on the box. Add Sunshine. Right what here. That, what could that mean? What you guys see? You already know what it is. You guys should know what this is. The Grinch. Dude, what? I'm surprised you don't have these, it's bro. It's called the Grinch. This is crazy, though. This is like an actual Nike release. This is a Nike release. And what is the bottom supposed to be? Like dirt? Yeah, it's, like, it's supposed to like rub off it yeah, or something. That is incredible. It's like overgrown. I don't think that Nike made these for this common sneakerhead. So, a lot of people said this was the ugliest shoe of the year soon as it came out. Like, this came out early mm. in the year, and they were like, ugliest shoe of the year. Right, right. No, I mean, I agree. Look, I've been growing, please trim excess material. So you're supposed to trim the shoe. Yep, and then give it a fresh cut. It's got a little sweet. Does it look there, fresh yin, once yin, you yin. trim it? No. They look trash either way. Hmm. <laughs> That's crazy. <laughs> so these are the Grinch Flea ones. Um, a lot of people have been hating on the shoe. Me personally, it was not a cop for me. It's a joke if you get it maybe during Christmas time to wear it or something like that for like a costume or something. But that's Definitely about it. Definitely made for hipsters for sure. How much do you think these were going for when they first came out? Retail or resale? Retail was like 190 bucks. Okay. What was a resale before they came out? Dude, I honestly don't think people would be reselling. Bro, they were stupid hyped. It was like over $1,000. For what? Where are you going to wear these things? <laughs> right. That's crazy. So this happened and then the prices just tanked and now they're like 250 bucks. And this is not a collab. It's just like a... CPFM collab with Nike. Okay. So... Yeah, it's pretty rough. That's wild. <laughs> these are, yeah, these are gross. We had to put these on the list. But I feel it like only even if sense. you wear these and you spill something on it, this material is done. Ketchup, done. <laughs> you, you know should what I try mean? it. You should try it. Ketchup, done. You could braid it. You could put, I see somebody put braids in it. Put braids in it? Yep. That could work. Have some little singles. That's crazy. It literally feels like dog fur. That's what it feels like. If, it's rough, though. I agree. These are definitely on the list. Are these number one for you, though? As of right now, it's still the big red boots. All right, let's take it to shoe number three. Next up right here is the Yeezy Foam Runners. I don't care which colorway is on this shoe. I don't like them. Honestly, I'm sorry. It's a rough looking shoe. They look crazy on people's feet. I get it. Maybe you want to be unique and stand out. Form your own opinions down below in the comment section. But when it comes to this sneaker, I hear a lot of people saying that as well. And again, there's a lot of people that do like the shoe as well. And at the end of the day, yes, buy what you like. 
But for me, on the Yeezy Foam Runners, I had to put these on the list. They were kind of one of the first shoes that came to my mind because <laughs> these things are terrible. I did a little bit of research looking online and asking other people as well, and I'm not the only one that feels this way about the shoe. Let me know what you guys think down below in the comment section, and let's take it to the next shoe. Now this is a brand right here that is normally on people's radar. They gotta collect them all. Gotta Union collect them right all, here. for sure. I don't have any unions personally. Really? But this is crazy. This is interesting. This is very interesting one just because like there was hype, but then it died down and then it hyped up and then it died down. And then there was like a lot of people on the fence and then there's like polar opposite responses. But I feel like we had to put this on the list because when I asked the question on Instagram and I was like, what's the ugliest shoe? A lot of people said this shoe. So I was like, we got Because we expect list. a lot from Union though. You know yeah. what I mean? We, if they're dropping a Union, it's gotta be a banger. So looking at the box, we've already done a review on the channel before. You guys know, I have a pair. I think they're solid. They did a good job on the materials and everything. Those are the common statements you say when it's a mid shoe. Right. So as you can see from the trends on all these shoes, hype is up there. The price is crazy. And then the shoe comes out and it's like retail. Mm. above retail just a little bit like right these were like 800 bucks and now they're like 225 because i think people like that it's different but then it's like do i actually want to wear them right probably not and then they get the shoe and they're like i see eh. they went with the uh with the open foam right here mm -hmm. kind of inspired by off-white right you know but yeah i mean i think this is a sick shoe it's dope uh but i just couldn't wear it and this is coming from the guy who's the king of ugly sneakers. Let's take it to the next shoe. Box is dope. The box is dope. The box is fire. So this is the Nike CPFM Air Flea 2. So the Flea 1s were the Grinch ones. The Flea 2s are this one. Completely different looking shoe. Dude, Look at the box. Clean. Like, I just, what were these inspired by, dude? Attire. Balenciaga? I don't know. <sighs> these remind me of two things. This is dope. One. A powerlifting shoe. A powerlifting, okay. Or two, something you would wear in an insane asylum. <laughs> oh like, I just don't get it. <laughs> you know what I mean? Okay, so out of all the shoes we've gone on so far, or gone through so far, where do these rank? Like, are these the me, worst out of all of them? the worst, because it's not even like a, hey, that's ugly, but like, that's kind of dope. Like, people are going to ask me about These them. are cool. Nobody's these are better than the Grinches. Nobody's going to comment on your shoes if you wear these. Yeah, right. You think so? Bro, everywhere you go, people's going to be commenting on your shoes. I think people are just going to like. And it's going to make you taller, too. What are you saying? It just, it'll make you taller. Anybody. I just, I don't know. I, I just, this, like, send them back. Send them back to the factory. Look at the button. You got, you can pop this off. And now they're worse because they have no swoosh. Somebody said, I said, what's the ugliest shoe? They said the Nikes with the banana on the side. All right, let's take it back to the house and go over to the next shoe. And that is the Plaid Air Jordan 5s. This shoe right here, oh my gosh. These things are terrible. I don't know what was going on with this design. A lot of people have been roasting this sneaker. Not only just me, but I've been hearing a lot of people talking mess about the shoe. I haven't seen, honestly, really that many people that like it at all. But as you can see right here on the shoe, you have a mixture of a bunch of different patterns, giving you that plaid concept, matching with some story that they have for Jordan or a picnic he made of went on. Whatever it may be, this design is not it. But one thing that I can say is, if this was a special PE or a limited edition, sneaker i guarantee you people would still be hyping this shoe up let me know what you guys think about these down below in the comment section are these still sitting on shelves in your city do you plan on grabbing these i would love to hear that and speaking of that the next one we might as well go ahead and get into the next one now the ebay dunks this is another shoe that was really really hyped up at the beginning and soon as the shoe came out the prices just kept going down and now as you can see the shoe is like damn near retail when it comes to the price i don't know it might be a couple hundred bucks or something because it is a special collaboration but at the end of the day a very unique sneaker and now for this one in particular i wouldn't go out and spend a bunch of money i still don't have them in my collection because i'm literally trying to get these for like retail or below type situation because i did get a chance to go to the ebay event so for me I have a different tie to why I want that sneaker. On the overall grand scheme of things, 
yes the shoe is pretty ugly i get it people definitely would have preferred just a regular dunk but i like the concept and where they went with it showing the elements of it being cut up now could they have done it better with the way they configured the sneaker maybe i don't know again the production costs and the things like that not 100 sure at the end of the day i hear a lot of people say that shoe is ugly they don't like it and it definitely should be on the top 10 ugliest sneakers of the year so i feel like i was kind of like forced to put this one on the list but you know i like it for its unique reasons and again buy what you like at the end of the day but for me retail or nothing when it comes to this shoe i would prefer to get these for like 80 bucks <laughs> but i don't know that's just me <laughs> right here we have the big yellow box let me explain something to you what mcdonald's spins millions hundreds of millions on advertising okay because there's two colors okay there's two colors that get everybody to click to yeah. look to what watch. colors are those red yeah and yellow yeah these right here sneaker of the year sneaker of the year sneaker of the year ugly sneaker of the year sneaker of the decade and not only that but they're not a collab with nike they're not a collab with reebok they're not even a collab with puma it's their own selves these are no open the box open them up my boy all right it is a collab sneaker. There's no shoe in there. With. Where's the shoes? Oh, I have them on right now. <laughs> it is a collab with Crocs. Mischief and Crocs came together after the highly successful big red boots. I saw that somebody dropped a picture of these early. I messaged Mischief, they read it. I said, I need a pair of the yellows. Uh -huh. And they just read it. So I bought them myself. Come over here. How much did you buy these for? I bought these for retail, which was $650. Six hundred and fifty dollars. Six hundred and fifty dollars. The retail. They are an official collab with Crocs. You got Crocs on the back. You have the Crocs logo on the side. Now, for my Croc wearers, you guys know that this little back tab right here is to put it in sport mode or chill mode. This does not move at all. I was about to say, how you, you do that? You can't move it, but it's just like there hanging. So mischief logo. Got the Croc logo on so the other side. So basically, it's always in sport mode. And it's a giant Croc boot. It's just like has the holes. These are way lighter than the big red boots. And these are pop, more poppy than the big red boots. And guess what? I'm wearing them to the season opener of the Lakers game on Thursday. Tomorrow. So it's gonna be fire. Oh my gosh. Okay, so what are they reselling for? $300. <laughs> <laughs> these and the big red boots, which one's better? If I had to pick between the two, I would say the big reds are more iconic. Really? But these are better to wear. Okay. Okay. These are easier to wear. So you gotta have both in your collection. Just entertain the people for a second. I got okay. something that I gotta show them. All right, boys. He's about to whip out the craziest sneaker. Wait, I, this did not make the list? It didn't make the list. It didn't make the list. But you bought these yesterday? I bought them yesterday. <laughs> show them this shoe, bro. These are sneaker of the year right here. You got the croc, you got the cowboy boot, you got the spurs on the back that work. <laughs> these came out yesterday for Croctober 2023. Croc Day. They got to come out with something special once a year. Croc Day 2023. And this is what it is. Let's take it so. to the next shoe. This one right here is hilarious, and I have seen a ton of memes about this shoe. The Yeezy 450 slides. They call them like the Mexican wheel chips or something like that. These things are hilarious. I think once you put that with that, it's kind of hard not to, you know, unsee that. So. I think it's just a pure type of joke. And honestly, I have still yet to see, I've only seen one person wearing these, they had got them early. But besides that, I haven't seen anybody wearing those out in the wild. I don't know if they came out, somebody said, they came out already or they're coming out this year. I don't know. I don't know all the details on the slide or the shoe or whatever. Let me know down below in the comment section. But those right there, those are worse than the Wave Runners. Maybe I'm tripping. Everybody's like, oh, you'll hate Yeezys, da 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 stuff. I've been changing my mind on some Yeezys. You know, I, I'm thinking I'm going to give it a second chance for the Adidas Yeezys. But these ones in particular, not happening. I can't do it, bruh. <laughs> these are terrible. All right, let's take it to the last shoe. We have the king of ugly shoes right here, and he's gonna make the final decision on this one. What is the last and final ugly shoe of the, the year? The ones that DJ is wearing always. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, no, here's the thing. The, the ugliest shoes uh, last of the year, before the year ends, it comes uh -huh. out in two days. Okay. The big red boot, but the black version. All black. So we got the reds, we got the yellows. Now we just gotta get the black ones. They're coming out in two days. And that is the final shoe of are, the look. Are you copping the blacks? I got to. I got to complete the I feel like I got to get a pair now. I, you have to get them, bro. Get them for retail. We so that way you can lose money. 
I think not. <laughs> I mean, dude, you can lose $300. All you gotta do is buy them, bro. These things are crazy. Okay, let me know what you guys think down below in the comment section. There have been a lot of crazy shoes that released this year, and I'm sure we missed some stuff on the list. If you wanna see another list of a whole another 10 shoes, let me know. Give me a list down below of what you think your top 10 ugliest shoes are of 2023. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Shout out to my guy, Tim. Oh yeah, shout out to Untied too. You know, they got some bangers up in here. All right, y'all, we out. I would never let you down. Hey, before you guys go, just wanted to let you know, I have the Six Figure Sneakerhead Academy. The link is down below in the description. It's an eight week program with a bunch of different tutorials, videos, text, links, all the different information, and everything that I've learned over the past 15 years when it comes to building, growing, and sustaining or flipping a sneaker collection into real estate. Whatever you need, all the answers are on the inside. We have a monthly meetup as well and a bunch of different giveaways. So if you guys are interested in any of that, hit the link down below in the description. I would love to see you guys on the inside. All right, you guys, I'll see you in another one. That's in my DNA. Hey, the hey, only choice I like to make what I'm aware today. One one I would never let you down. That's in my DNA. The only choice I like to make what I'm aware today. I was made for it. It's in the DNA.